You can start. Good morning, and, and thank you all for uh, joining us today. I thought it was very important uh, to share with all of you this morning Markham's strategy to combat anti-black racism. We're taking these critical and decisive steps to ensure that no voice is left unheard. Because the truth is, as much as we think we have accomplished a lot, so far recent events have shown us otherwise we have a lot more to do. The reality for the black community is something many of us are only beginning to understand. Racism remains an intractable problem for many black Canadians. Today, I'm here to say that we are standing with the black community. We stand against anti-black racism. We're committed to do more change. We're committed to meaningful change. The time for us is to prioritize the issues place facing black Canadians. Our journey confronting anti-black racism is far from over. The city of Markham is taking proactive and decisive steps. Our strategy to combat anti-black racism was unanimously endorsed by Markham Council. And I want to say thank you to my colleagues for recognizing the significance of this work. The strategy was created with this in mind. Now, more than ever, we need to listen, to learn, to understand, to act. In 1989, we formed the Race Relations Committee with members of the black community, people like Lolita Phillips and Tilly Murray. In many respects, they were the architects of that committee. The committee advises council on matters involving race relations, ethno-cultural equity, and other issues as they deem appropriate. In 2010, we adopted Markham's Diversity Action Plan entitled Everyone Welcome. Our council is moving forward with updating this plan. It was originally developed through extensive consultation and further strengthens our commitment toward inclusion. As we update this plan and make critical changes, one of our first steps, a top priority, will be to meet and to listen to the members of the black community here in the city of Markham. The city of Markham is also a member of the Coalition of Municipalities Against Racism and Discrimination since 2010. We developed Markham's Inclusion Charter to reinforce the city's pledge to inclusivity in 2018. Still, we recognize that there is more to do. Clearly, we have not done enough. Here are the steps that we're taking. The City of Markham Council and staff will receive training on anti-black racism. The City of Markham will undertake an equity audit, beginning with our Human Resources Department it's responsible for employee relations and recruitment here to the city of Markham. Today, we're also announcing the creation of a Mayor's Anti-Black Racism Youth Liaison Committee, led by youth in this community. Over the years, I've listened to many experts, and I think it is time to listen to our youth. Racialized youth face significant barriers and it's our responsibility to foster a greater sense of belonging. We all need to remove barriers that limit their ability to thrive. And with that, I'm so pleased that Signe Baxter is here this morning. She recently organized a peaceful protest to combat anti-black racism, a movement that was created by youth. In her words, students are the future of Markham, and students are the ones with big, bright ideas. I agree with you, Sydney, and I look forward to working with you and other black youth on this new committee. We're also here to make another very important announcement, the, import, the appointment of a special advisor to provide advice and guidance on our measures to address anti-black racism 
and to stamp out anti-black racism. We're extremely honored to have Mary Ann Chambers with us here today. She has graciously accepted this leadership role. Her role will be to help identify gaps to enact change and to help guide policies that promote social inclusion. Mary Ann has had a very successful private sector career and has led in a very distinguished way in public service, a trailblazer of her own. She uh, achieved the position of Vice President at the Scotia Bank. She served as Provincial Minister of Children and Youth Services and Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities. She's a woman who's worn many hats in her commitment to serve her community, including the Chair of the Board of the United Way of Canada, Governor of the Air Cadet League of Canada, President of the Project for Advancement of Early Childhood Education and the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health and YMCA Toronto. She is currently Governor of Canada's International Development Research Centre, a Senior Fellow at York University's Glendon School of Public International Affairs and a mentor with the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation. Marianne has been named to the Order of Ontario a recipient of the Governor General of Canada's Meritorious Service Medal, a recipient of the Golden Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee Medals of Queen Elizabeth II. Marianne has also received the Prime Minister of Jamaica's Medal of Appreciation, and that's just to name a few. Marianne has personally funded scholarships for more than 50 university and college students in Ontario. I could literally stand here all day naming her impressive accomplishments. Needless to say, she's a role model to many and someone who understands the power of community. I'm also pleased to say that she is a member of our Markham community. She also succeeded in the world of business, politics, and has great insight into the possibilities of Canadian multiculturalism. We're truly grateful to have her as our special advisor. We will continue to work with the Markham African Caribbean Association, the York Region Alliance of African Canadians, the Markham Race Relations Committee. So now with Marianne, Sydney, with all these community groups and the entire black community in Markham, we stand in solidarity we are in lockstep to ensure in this community you can breathe, you can live, you can dream, you can pursue your hopes and reach your full potential without barriers. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the podium Mary Ann Chambers. Thank you, Your Worship. Good morning. Having been a resident of Thornhill for the past 16 years, it feels good to be asked to contribute in this way to the quality of life all residents of the city of Markham are able to experience. My approach will be consistent with the stated intention of the city's strategy to combat anti-black racism which is to listen, learn, understand, and act. As the mayor noted, the City of Markham's Race Relations Committee, which primarily focused on the black community, was established in 1989. Other initiatives, such as the 2010 Markham Diversity Action Plan, have since been introduced in line with the desire to make Markham a welcoming place for all. It is in the spirit of wanting to reflect on where we are as a community that I will respectfully do what I can to help recognize what seems to be working well and provide advice where it seems there may need to be things done better. 
I come to this with no preconceived notions as to where things currently stand. I will say, however, that regardless of wherever I find myself, I know that I deserve to be able to live my life with dignity, not only as a black person, but also as a human being. All around us, in just about every aspect of our lives, there is a heightened awareness of the importance of conducting ourselves as individuals and as institutions in ways that reflect our respect for each other as human beings. That's the responsibility that I believe we all share. We each have an important role to play. Thank you very much, Mary Ann. And again, we're extremely honored to have you as a special advisor to all of our measures. And now I'd like to introduce someone who has inspired others, myself included. An incredible grade 11 student from, I must say, a great high school, Markham District High School. And she truly is an inspiring young community leader. Please welcome Sydney Baxter. Good morning, everybody. I'm a little short, so these mics are kind of high for me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's much better. Um, I'd like to say good morning again to everyone. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this. This is so important, especially for the city. I've been raised in the city, and I've been living here basically all my life. And Markham is such a beautiful city, but a beautiful city cannot be beautiful if it has the ugliness of racism in it. And that's why I'm so thankful that the mayor has asked me to be a part of the Youth Liaison Committee so that I can make a change with the government, working with them, in order to create something new and something beautiful that will help people in my community and that can also help educate people in other communities. Because as I've seen in Markham, it's so diverse, but we have to be together in order for everything to work out. Thank you. So I want to say again, thank you to Marianne Chambers. Look forward to working with you. Look forward to working with you, Sydney, and other uh, black youth leaders from right across uh, the city of Markham. I think uh, it's extremely important that we get on with this work. And again, I want to say thank you to all of my colleagues on Markham Council, and certainly to all of the leaders as well in the black community, people who over the many years have been working to improve the quality of life of members of our, our black community. Again, thank you very much for joining us this morning for this very important announcement and look forward to working with Marianne, Sydney, and the community. Thank you.